Oh my God, guys. Our day of training on the automatic press is over and we're actually printing shirts right now. We got a six color design rolling on this thing. It'll handle eight shirts at a time, six colors. So that's what we have rolling on this machine. What's crazy about it is it is actually on auto mode fully. So it's printing all of the colors and when it gets to being complete, then I could switch it into pedal mode using the yellow pedal down here. And uh, then I can unload a shirt, put a new one on, and then hit the pedal. It rotates and repeat the process until the last of the shirts are loaded on there and then we're done with this. So we we're kind of holding on to this project to use as our sample piece because it was a large print job and it had six colors, quite complicated. We're flashing in between each color. And so this is taking quite a while. I think we're only doing like 36 shirts per hour with this particular job. But if we were running like a black ink on a light color shirt, we could literally do 500 shirts an hour with this thing. So this particular job taking a little bit of time but that's okay. My buddy Mark Bronski over at Pearson Company General Store in Hallsboro, North Carolina. Um, in his previous career uh, was the lead sales guy for Trump, with an F on the end, International, one of the largest laser companies on the planet. We're talking like commercial grade lasers that will cut through steel like this thick. Um, a German company. Well, uh, one of his good buddies, Bernie was in town and Bernie was like one of the lead tech guys for this major laser company. And so the two of them were like, you know what? Uh, Mark has been doing this uh, brick laser engraving project. Um, backtrack a little bit. He put in a new door at his general store. It's 125 years old. Today is their 125th anniversary this year. And uh, they saved the bricks for this new entrance that they put in. And we have been contracting out laser engraving of these bricks. Well, Mark and Bernie last night, I'm hanging out with them like, hey, well, we'll come by your shop on Monday and we will get your laser up and rolling. And I was like, you get my laser up and rolling, you engrave as many bricks as you want to. So they've been working on it all day today. They got it all lined up and everything. They've, they went through the manual. Mark's the smartest person I know on the planet. And um, um, they got it just right towards the end of the day. They're gonna come back, finish up tomorrow. Um, they even started getting the fiber laser up and rolling as well. So very, very excited about that. I can't believe that thing has been here for one year. And today of all days, it's up and rolling when the same day that our automatic press is up and rolling. So we're finally starting to click on all cylinders over here, Mr. Postman Prince. A smidge of footage of Mark and Bernie working on that laser over there. I was able to film the entire training process for this thing. Um, I will probably end up dropping that in a massive video that's going to be well linked with different chapters so that you could skip ahead. It's going to be a reference point for my employees, but I thought it might be something to be very helpful and useful for people out there. So I'm just going to post it. Um, I think Workhorse is going to be okay with it. So uh, it might take me a little bit of time to get that edited together. It's going to be long. Uh, it's probably going to be like an hour or something, but I'm going to just break it up. So anyways, 
I uh, here's a little bit of footage uh, from that, just a little flavor of some of the training that we got today. Fire, put this back together. Okay, now you're good. So hit the table up button. There you go. No, just hit it. Oh. There you go. Yeah, you just. Okay. And that's and now... it. Now this one you hold down to move. This one you just touch it and it goes up. Okay, now you go in. <laughs> Don't worry, you get used to everything. <laughs> no, Don't go off the center tactics. because you'll be deceiving yourself. Always go off these. Okay. Yeah, because like I said, the center, you're going to be looking at it at an angle and you're yeah. going to be inaccurate. <clears throat> Let's get over here. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, go ahead and lock down the front, which is this one right here. There you go. Oh, no, no, no. Lock it. Down. There you go. Okay, now undo your registrations. Now these, just a good snug is all you need. You don't need to like tighten, tighten yeah. this. Yep, always shoot, don't forget to bounce it as you move it. Yes. Otherwise you're gonna be in inaccurate. There you go. Don't worry, you'll figure out what you're moving yeah. it the wrong way. Yeah, don't worry about it, that takes practice. It's all feel. Yeah, all feel we had to learn that. Yeah. Well, when it comes to feel, mm -hmm. now when you're moving the uh, registration with ink and everything in the screens and you're really not going to put your fingers in there and you know you need to move it a little bit, yeah. that's when you use feel. So you'll come over here, mm -hmm. let's just say if you need to move it this way, you're going to put your finger right here. Oh, yeah. Then you move it, you feel it moving. Oh. Don't oh, look yeah. at this, that'll deceive you. Yeah. When you feel it moving on yeah. your finger, then you know it's moving. Same with going backwards or put your finger here. This is the part that moves underneath. Right. You. So you'll put your thumb here and then you'll feel it put pressure against you. Cool. Same with going left and right. You'll put your finger here. You can actually feel it pushing against your finger that way. Mm. This seems pretty close. So. Seems pretty close. Looks pretty close to me. Oh, oh. Come this way. There we go. All right, so go ahead and lock down that one now. Should we lock these first or does it? It's already locked. Oh, these oh, no, no, no. Okay. That's our final thing to do. Because gotcha. we never know. We might have to move a little bit more and okay. we do that. Okay, so we'll look at it. Move just a tiny bit. Can you, like, adjust it down here? I see it. Oh. Well, let me show you a little trick real quick. So, unlock it. So, when you lock down the front, as you can see, it's off a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, just pull the frame in your direction. Okay. Oh. Locked down the wrong way. There we go. So just pull it in your direction. So check this out. So there's six colors happening here. So this shirt's on color five, 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 five. That one's on four, 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 four. So that one's on five. This one's on four. As it gets around, once it gets to six, that's when I'm gonna start taking these things off. Cool of how the flashing unit works. It just rolls on over the thing quite efficiently. Rolls right back. So cool. Using the force. Okay, there we are, number six. It's rolling off. Waiting on the flashing. Bam! That's what it was. That's where we're at. Now when this flashing unit is gonna come forward, when it starts rolling back, there it goes, it's rolling back. I can hit pause on this, and I'm gonna switch this from full auto to auto with pedal. So now it's not gonna move forward until I hit this little pedal right here. Pretty cool. All right, I better unload some shirts. Last shirt is loaded up. 
I'm gonna put it back in full auto, hit pause twice, and bam. Set it and forget it. All right guys, that's a wrap for today. I'm really stoked. I need a bourbon and a stogie to celebrate um, this momentous occasion for our business. I'm really, really excited about this. Thank you all for tuning in to the channel. Um, I hope to see you soon. See you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.